You don't need a developer or Google Tag Manager to track your Shopify conversions anymore. Google and Shopify, they made it easy in 2025. However, here's the catch. When we audit Google Ad accounts and Shopify stores, still so many of them, they don't have the right connection or they don't have the right primary goal in their Google Ad account. They skip enhanced conversions or they don't even check if their conversion tracking fires. So in this video, I will show you how to set up conversion tracking in your Google Ad account when you have a Shopify e-com store. And just to give you more background story, so since cookies they were phased out, now there is server-to-server -server connections between Shopify and Google. You can connect them with a simple app, so it became much more simple. And also you can have enhanced conversions. Basically Shopify passes the data of customers to Google such as email, a phone number, customer ID, all this information to Google. And this is how Google, they can track your customers and that's how you can optimize your Google Ads. And if you don't have this setup, this connection, then basically you fly blind and you just don't know how to optimize your ads. So that being said, let's jump to my computer and let's set it up on a Google Ad account. Okay, so this is a test Shopify store here. You need to go to apps and here you have to go to Google and YouTube. So basically Google and YouTube, uh, they came up with their native app to connect with Shopify to enable this server to server connection. So that's what we will do now. You just hit install, super simple and uh, view personal data, customers, store owner. So it can see all of this data of customers. This is how it identifies customers and sends it to Google. That's how it will analyze the ads uh, and optimize them. So I will click install now. Et voila, here we are. The next step is connecting the Google account and here we have to pick the right account so obviously we manage many accounts but I will pick the right one here so I just pick Buda Media okay let's connect this and actually here we are connecting the Google Merchant Center so not the Google Ad account yet okay so I connected the Merchant Center check your online store requirements so I think everyone should have these confirm you've added a contact information to your online store so you just have to confirm it Ag agree all the terms and conditions Conditions. So I will just check these now. I don't want updates. Thank you. I agree and understand your traffic with Google Analytics. So here you can add your Google Analytics as well if you want. So I will just pick the right account here as well. Okay, let's connect this. Here you can confirm Google Tags. So yeah, I will not deal with much with this. You can add uh, a Google Tag if you want. I will just confirm this or you can even skip this. And now I will complete the setup. Okay, so the Google Merchant Center is already active. Now local inventory. So this is just a test store, we don't have it. So I will just skip this one. And then here we have Google Ads, right? So this is what we want to set up. Okay, so the app is already installed and if you want to check if conversion tracking is active, go to settings and here you can see the account is uh, added, the merchant center is added as well. But what you want to find, so conversion measurement, it's turned on. You can manually turn it off here and also conversion event settings, it's turned on. But if you want, you can click here and manage them. Okay, and here you can see all the events that I sent from Shopify to your Google Ads account. So yeah, I will just save it now. As the next step, go to your Google Ads account and uh, we will go to tools and settings and uh, here data manager. And you can see Google Merchant Center, it's already linked, super important. GA4, it's also linked. YouTube is linked already. So we wanna click Shopify and then there will be three data sources here. So we want to pick uh, direct connection, click authorize and here we will use the link of the Shopify store. So this part creates the direct server to server integration between the two tools. So we get all of this data to Google. I will click finish and make sure that you connect the right account. So let's connect customer match. So this creates a list using data 
collected from customers so we want that let's turn it on and finally just complete setup okay amazing so what do you want to use the data for so we want to use it for audiences we want to check this and uh, create audience segments from the data sources and then here this data was collected and being shared with google compliance you want to check this and uh, you can also edit settings but uh, yeah we usually don't do that so click continue here okay and here it will ask us uh, where we want to send the data so customers have purchased at least once i'm picking this and hit next and here we can uh, Got all the data coming from Shopify. So yeah, phone, phone number, uh, email, email address. I mean, this should be all right. So I will just click next and uh, yeah, let's finish it. So these are the data points that Google gets from Shopify directly. Okay, you've connected a product. Let's just click done. So now we are good with the connection between Shopify and Google. Okay, now super important step. So you want to make sure you only have one primary goal, which is the purchase for a Shopify store. So go to goals and summary, scroll down and you will find the goals here. So here we can see all the events, the main events, even page view is there, add to cart, begin checkout. These are coming from Shopify. So we have purchased here and here you will see Google Shopping app it's coming through the app and here you can click this one you can see all the details and uh, if you go to settings you can change the setting here uh, you can see the default click-through conversion window so you can change it from 30 days to more or less but I would say the higher uh, order value you have the longer this should be so typically if your uh, average order value your products are typically 50 bucks 30 bucks 100 bucks I think it's safe to use uh, one week or even two weeks but if you sell more expensive items couple hundred bucks even a thousand bucks then you can extend it to 30 days which was the default or even 60 days maybe even 90 days if you sell super high ticket items so yeah just keep this in mind also you can go to engage view conversion window and uh, you can also play with this for now I will use it uh, on the default one and then finally we have the view to conversion window also here we have the attribution model so actually this used to be more complex uh, as you can see many of them they are no longer available however um, the recommended is the data driven one which uh, honestly it's a bit of black box because this relies on Google they claim that this is the best yeah it relies on, on the Google algorithm but with clients we typically use the data driven one we don't really play around with this one if you want you can change it to last click for shopping for example that's that's a strong one it will attribute most likely more revenue than data driven but now I will stick to the default one so yeah and then here we have the enhanced conversions as well uh, we want to keep this because uh, again we don't have cookies anymore so so yeah we will just keep this one also super important so you want to track not just the number of conversions but the value of transactions of orders as well so go to value and use different values so make sure you have this enabled uh, not same value for each conversion or not this one but the middle one so use different values for each conversion and enter default value that's us dollar you can also change to a different currency if you want but i will use us dollar okay let's save this and also i want to share one more thing which is i will just go back here and uh, edit this goal so you can also make a goal the account default if uh, purchase is the number one goal for you like for most shopify stores then actually you can make this the default account goal and uh, yeah you can just save it like this so now if i set up a new campaign this will be my default goal the purchase and that's the primary goal from now on okay so the next thing in an account is that you want to have one primary action which is the purchase so we just made it the accounts default uh, conversion action 
and uh, we have this. However, there are others and we want to make those secondary. So yeah, we have these other goals. You want to move them to secondary. So just click here, go to settings and here you can click this and make it secondary. So I will just do it for these others as well. Let's go back. If voila, now we have only one uh, primary conversion action, which is the primary for the whole account, basically. Okay, so now the next step, we wanna make sure that this uh, actually works. So you wanna install a free tool, it's called Tag Assistant Companion. I already added it to my Chrome, and once you have it, then uh, you wanna go settings in your Shopify, go to payments, and uh, you have to have Shopify payments set up already, but once you have this, go down, and uh, first click manage and then you need to go down click test mode i just clicked it and then you want to go to your shopify store so i just go to this product and let's buy this so we go to the checkout and what you have to know about test mode so we can simulate uh, transactions so here there are uh, credit cards info that you can use we just want to use this test card number just add any uh, future expiry date so the purchase just happened the test purchase which is great and you should go to the goals let's refresh this and uh, let's see also make sure that the date is correct so today is the 22nd actually so make sure you apply that and we go down let's see yeah so here it shows zero honestly i expected this so typically you have to wait one day to see it because of the attribution so don't be scared if it's not working basically you just need to wait one day and ideally you want to see the number of conversions and also you want to see the conversion value which was here uh, 27 bucks so yeah you want to make sure that it also shows up but this should work now because we connect uh, Google and Shopify uh, properly so just as a summary make sure it works well and also when there are new Shopify updates or you update your theme make sure this works and it also shows not only conversion but conversion value as well conversion value is important because that's how you can set up target trust or target target uh, CPA, you need all of those metrics to optimize your Google Ads. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you drop a like, drop a comment if you have any questions, subscribe to this channel and see you in my next video. Happy cash flow guys! I hope you enjoyed and even more importantly, you learned something from this video. This YouTube channel exists because I found too much shit out there on YouTube when it comes to e-commerce growth marketing. In the past six years, my team and I, we worked with more than 200 e-commerce stores. We generated a nine figure extra revenue for them. And today I made available our uh, Google audit cheat sheet for you that you can download for free in the description if you scroll below and you check out the link. That being said, see you in my next video.